How to implement Fibonacci in C-sharp. The Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers such that each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers, starting from 1 and 0. So here's the main method. I will first be calling a recursive version of Fibonacci, and then I'll be calling an iterative version of the Fibonacci sequence. Both of these implementations of the Fibonacci sequence allow for negative and positive integers. Here's the recursive version of the Fibonacci method. Here we take in an integer n. Here's our base case where we have the number 0 or 1. When n is equal to 0 or 1, we return n. If n is greater than or equal to 0, we call the regular recursive Fibonacci method. So the positive method for the Fibonacci sequence is f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. So we simply call our method recursively, sending in n minus 1 and n minus 2 and adding them together. Otherwise, if we pass in a negative number, then we must call the regular Fibonacci recursive method and take the absolute value of the current number that we passed in and then multiply it by the equation negative 1 to the power of n plus 1 or to the power of the number that we passed in plus 1. So let's take a look at the recursive version of this algorithm by passing in the number negative 8. Here we're taking in the number negative 8. Since it is not 1 or 0, we continue. It is less than 0, so we must go to the negative implementation. And now we simply pass in 8 to our method. Now we recursively call our method, passing in 7, and n minus 2, which is 6, which we'll now call n minus 1, which is 6, and n minus 2, which is 5. Now we're at 6 and we subtract 1, so we have 5, and then we have n minus 2 is 4, and we keep recursively calling. Now our n is equal to 1, so we return 1, and our other n is 0, so we return 0, and we add 1 and 0 together. Now we have another n of 1, so we return 1. And we continue to add our numbers up, so we had 2 before, now we have 4. And eventually we will return 21 and then multiply it by negative 1. And then our result for negative 8 will be negative 21. Now let's look at the iterative version of the Fibonacci series. Taking in a number n, we initialize our current and our previous numbers. Current to 0 and previous to 1. You'll notice this works out perfectly fine on the Fibonacci series. Here is the series from negative 8 to 8. And for negative 1, we have the number 1, and at 0, we have 0. So as we add 1 to 0, we will arrive at 1. And if we pass in 0, we will not loop through, and so we will just return the same number, which is 0. And all the other numbers will turn out properly as they will add the previous number to the next number and get the correct number. Of course, for the negative numbers, when passed in, we have to check the sign. So I set sign equal to 1. And if the number passed in is less than 0, then we use our power function and take negative 1 to the power of n plus 1, and then assign our sign either a negative 1 or a 1, because in the Fibonacci sequence, when going in the negative direction, we can have positive numbers and negative numbers. Next, I take the absolute value, the value that's passed in, in case it is negative, so I can perform the regular Fibonacci series. And here we simply go from 0 to the digit that we're looking for. In this case, the digit will be 8 since we passed in negative 8 and took the absolute value of that digit. And then we simply take the current number plus the previous number and add up until we reach that number. So 0 plus 1. And then we need to make sure that we take the current number and subtract the previous number to maintain the previous number related to the current number. So now our previous number is 0, and our current number is 1, so 1 plus 0 is 1. And now the current number 1 minus 0 is 1, so the previous number will be 1. Now the current number is 1, the previous number is 1. And so now the current number is 2 minus the previous number is 1, so the previous number will now be 1. Now the current number is 2. The previous number is 1, so now the current number will become 3. And we will continue this until we reach 8. Now we have escaped from our loop, and our current number is 21. And we received a negative sign from our power method. And so we will return negative 21 for the Fibonacci series of the number negative 8. 
So both methods gave back the proper results that we were looking for. From negative 8 to positive 8, we have the numbers negative 21, 13, negative 8, 5, negative 3, 2, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.